Hi guys, my name is Andy Osborne and welcome to the Royal Volunteer Service Virtual Village Hall. If you've done my sessions before, you know today I do a HIT session, that's High Intensity Interval Training. And um, we're going to get a little bit sweaty today with our workout. So if you want to get involved, you need to make sure you've got some space. You need to make sure you've got uh, some water, get up a towel and some willpower to do this workout. If you've got any music, have some music on in the background, something that's going to motivate you, something that's going to help you to get through the workout as well, because I won't be playing any music. Okay, guys, so high intensity interval training. Today, we're going to do a Tabata session, which means we're working 20 seconds, then we're going to have a 10 second break, and we do eight rounds of each movement. So that's eight rounds, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds break. Okay, the movements are going to be quite simple. Um, but not necessarily easy, okay? You're gonna to have to work hard if you can manage, work at your level, um, make sure that it's too much for you, scale it down, take a break at any time if you need to, but the movements are gonna be relatively simple. Okay, guys, so we're gonna get you warmed up before we start, uh, and then we're gonna get you into it nice and steady. So guys, if you've got any comments, any feedback, please put them in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think of the workout, um, all the rest of it. Okay, guys, you ready to go? Okay, let's do this. Okay, so a little bit of a warm up to start. Let's get some light on the situation. Okay, so to warm up guys, just circle those arms. Let's get me in the frame. There we go. Circle those arms nice and big. Let's get those joints warmed up. And then change direction. So Tabata, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, eight rounds of each movement. So high intensity interval training, so you're working as hard as you can manage for each one of those intervals. And we take that short break in between each one. Reach over the top, stretch it out. That's good. And circle those knees across the body. So guys, our goal is to get the heart rate up, burn some calories, get a little bit fitter. Remember, work at your level. If there's anything I do that you can't manage, then do something else. Or do your version of that. I'll give you a couple of options for each of the movements. Give me a leg swing. Reach opposite hand to foot. And change, other side. So 20 seconds of work doesn't sound very much, but you only get a 10 second break. And your goal is to do as much as you can in that time. Okay guys, just give me a few air squats. Stripe the hips back. That's it. Drop as low as you can manage. If you can't go that low, work within the range that you can manage. Or if you've got a chair, you can sit and stand on that chair. Whatever works for you guys. Okay, jogging on the spot. So, if you can't jog, just march. It's all good. As you're jogging, relax the shoulders. Elbows go back, stand up nice and tall, keep those abs braced, nice and steady. That's good. Okay, jacks. This is the half jack. Keeping the impact down, and for those that can, the full jack. Touch the hands above the head. So we're still getting you warm, guys. This is still your warm up. We've not started just yet. So guys, this session is live, so I'm going to be doing a workout at the same time. This is my workout of the day. Okay, step curl. This is your love impact. For those that can, curl the heel to the bump. On the spot. That's it. OK, 
Okay, reach up high, knee raise, pull down. This is your low impact, high impact, punch high, drive the knees up. So take your pick, choose the option which is good for you. Nice, stay with it. And step to the side, reach to the side. This is your low impact. For those that can, hop over and reach. Nice. Should be starting to get a bit warm now, guys. Heart rate going up. Breathing getting a bit labored. Good. Okay, reach to the center. Feet directly under the hips. Reach up tall. Come right up onto the balls of the feet. Open up the chest. Okay, guys, we are warmed up and we are good to go. Let me just get my phone so we can time these intervals. Okay, so let's get the clock on. So, uh, okay, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, eight rounds. So we're gonna do one movement for all eight rounds. Okay, you good to go? We wanna start off real simple. Warm up exercises with a little bit more intensity. So high knees to start with, guys. Are you ready? I'm setting the clock. Let me just turn the volume up. Okay, guys, so high knees. So, low impact version is here. Drive the knee up, reach up high with the arms, and pull down as you do this. So this is your low impact version. High impact, punch, knees high. Bell's gone. That's your first round, 20 seconds. 10 second rest, and we go again. Same movement. You know the move, guys? Try and get the intensity up as much as you can. That's it. Now you might start with the high impact like this, and you get a bit tired, you might need to go to the low impact. That's perfectly fine. Do what you can. Do what you got. Keep pushing, guys. There it is. Two down. So good. Early days. Two down. Six to go. You ready? Go. Punch. So guys, get half the amount of break as the period. 20 seconds doesn't seem long. Stay with it, guys. Keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, one. Break. Okay. Getting the idea now. Heart rate's coming up now. Woo. You ready? Go! Once you get, remember your option. Yeah, reach, pull down. Stay with it. Come on, guys. Every go. Fast as you can go. If the arms are too much, just do the legs. Or you can just do opposite arm to leg. So, guys, the important thing here is to choose a level that suits you and try and keep going throughout that 20 seconds. Come on, keep punching, keep driving up. Knees high, punch high. Let's go, keep going. Nice, few more seconds. Three, two, one. There's your bell. Okay guys, how you feeling? Yes. So to get the heart rate up now, guys, come on. We got this. Let's go. 20 seconds on the clock. Punch it, drive the knees. Low impact, do it if you can. Choose a level. I said it before. But whichever level you choose, guys, try and make it a bit challenging. I need you. Break. 
a little bit breathless with these movements if you can. And that's all about the speed, but also about the movement. Yeah. The range of movement is important to help get that heart rate up. Come on, guys. Push. Get the movement first before you start to take up the speed. Oh, yeah. Come on. Three, two, one. There it is. One round left, guys. One round left of this, of this particular movement. Then we'll change it up. You ready? Go. That's it. Quick as you can. Everything you got. Last 20 seconds. Come on, guys. Woo! Push it. Catch me now. In five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Woo! Short and sweet. Okay, guys, good job. Grab a drink. Mop your brow. Allow your heart rate to come down a bit. Get your breath back. And we want to change the moves. So, that was high knees. Again, as I said, I'm keeping the movement simple so then you can focus on the speed of the movement, the range of the movement, to try and get the most out of those 20 seconds. Whew. Okay, a few more seconds, guys. So the next one, again, taking this from the warm-up, we're just going to do some jacks. Simple. Keeping it simple. So you've got the half jack for the low impact, the full jack if you can. Okay, you ready to go? Is that a yes? I'm hearing a yes. <laughs> okay, guys, let's make it a little bigger. Okay, set the clock, five second countdown. So here comes the jacks, guys. You ready? Okay, there's the bell. So this is the low impact version. Now remember, especially if you're doing this impact version, you need to maintain some sort of speed. Because if you go super slow, the heart rate's not going to get up. You're not going to get laboring in the breathing. So give it everything you got. There's your break. One down already. So guys, this is more of a mental game than anything else. You've got to set yourself a target. Let's go. Set yourself a target and go for it. Your target might just be to keep going without stopping for the 20 seconds. Your target might be a physical number. It doesn't matter what it is, but I need you to keep going. Two, one. Uh, on this next one, guys, what I want you to do, whichever level you're doing, I want you to count your reps. Yeah? Let's see how many you do in the 20 seconds. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. your targets for all the next rounds okay whatever you did on this round let's try and match it on the next one so count those reps on this next round see if you can get anywhere near what you did on the previous round give yourself a mental target to try and keep that tempo up Yeah? Make sense? Anything that's going to help motivate you to go a little quicker. Yeah? Same if you're doing the half jack. Count those reps. That's it. Come on, guys. Stay with it. Keep pushing. Keep driving. Focus on the move. Few more seconds. Boom. Okay, five down, three to go. Okay, let's see if we can match it. I did 31, I think. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty,
Well, targets, guys. Targets and goals. That's what we're looking for right now. Okay. You ready? Let's go. So maintain the speed. Maintain your tempo. Try and keep moving. Aim for your target. Stay strong. Focus and push. That's good. Woo! There it is. One round. One round to go, guys. Are you ready? Your final round. Let's make this the best round. Let's go. That's it. Come on. Let's go, guys. We got this. Keep pushing. Yes. Final round of the jacks. Super quick. That's it. Oh yeah! Come on! Boom! Oh good. Woo! Catch your breath. So a couple of words on speed. So before you crank up the speed, you need to get the, the movement down. Yeah? Only go as fast as you can maintain the integrity of the movement. Once your movement starts to go a little bit, falling the wheels off sort of thing, then you might just slow down and such. Okay, guys? So, your quality over quantity, yeah? Chance to catch your breath, and we've got a brand new move for you. So again, keeping this simple, this is gonna be a, a switch kick. I'm gonna give you a couple of options for this. So, Option one, kick, punch. So the knee comes up and you sort of flick, and it's the opposite hand, punches out. If the arms are too much, just do the kick, and do whatever you feel with the arms, yeah? And then, the full version, there's a little bounce in between each one of your kicks, okay? So choose your level, you know the score, it's 20 seconds work, it's 10 seconds rest, and it's eight rounds. Pure Tabata style, guys. Are you ready? Tell me you're ready. Okay, let's set the clock. Three, two, one. Okay, here is your low impact version. So I'm not jumping, I'm kicking out extending out those arms and just going as quick as I can with this movement. Yeah, level one. It's still gonna get your heart rate up, guys. You can keep those movements nice and big. That was the bell. Next round. You ready? Two, one. Little bounce, kick it out. So this is the high impact version. That's it. Hands adds a whole new dimension, new dimension to the movement. That's it. Good. There's your break. Woo! Big movement, guys. All right. Two down. You ready to go again? Let's do it. Go. Now again, if you can't kick high, you can kick low. But if you're kicking low, you should be able to go a little quicker, higher. You may not be able to go as quick, but it makes up for the range of movements. Break. Ah. Okay, guys. So you should know now where you're at. Choose it. Stick with it. Let's go. I like to try and get the legs nice and high. Trying to get the feet higher than the hips. But I know not everyone's going to be able to do that. So keep low if you need to. Or take the impact down. Break. It doesn't matter what level you're doing, guys. It doesn't matter. As long as you're maintaining your pace, as long as you're pushing it, as long as it's good for you, it's going to work. So if I'm keeping it lower, I can go a lot quicker. I'm still getting the heart rate up. Come on. Let's go. It's a bit like a can, can this. 
Come on. Keep driving. Well, oh, this one gets the legs. That's five down. Really go. Woo. Let's go, guys. Let's push it. Nice and high. If you can, low impact. Or here. Low impact, not quicker. But by moving the arms as well, guys, break. By moving the arms, it will add to getting that heart rate up. It adds to the intensity. It adds to the effort. You ready? Let's go. Nice. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. That's good. Push it to the toe. Nice. Woo. We got one more. One more, guys. Sweating. And the shoulders up. Short and quick. next again I want to keep this nice and easy we've got a butt kick coming up next so it's like running on the spot flicking the heels up towards your bum or a step curl if you want the low impact but whatever you do remember remember your goal of the movement it doesn't matter what the movement is as long as you're hitting those goals as in heart rate elevated breathing labored and keeping it safe. That's all you gotta worry about. The rest doesn't have to be the same as what I'm doing. It can be a totally different move if you need to be. I think it's something as long as you're moving and you're giving me that 100% for those 20 minutes. Okay, guys, are you ready? Here we go then. There you go. Step curl. So this is your low impact version. So again, your goal is to try and get some sort of rhythm going, some sort of tempo going. Remember what I said previous, goals and targets are good to work with and break. Choose to count your reps. You can do that if you find that helps to motivate you. Here's the high impact version, heels towards the bum. And let me add the arms. I'm locking out my arms at the top of the move, bringing the hands all the way down to the hips. Nice. Those arms help to raise the heart rate. Break. Woo. And you can do anywhere in between of that full version and that low impact version. You might start off with some low impact and think, yeah, I think I can do a bit more than this. So you might want to add a little hop on your step curl. You can do that. That's all good. Or you might take the arms out and just do the legs for the curl. Or you might stick with that full movement. Right. Woohoo! So guys, remember, choose your move, nail it down, increase your speed. Let's go. A little quick this time. Now we're into it. Now we know where we're at. That's good. Let's go. We got this, guys. Nice. Keep pushing. Stay strong. Stay with it. Break. Okay. That's it. You ready? Your next one. Let's go, guys. So, I know saying that step curl, adding a little hop, if we choose, 
That's when it raises the heart rate. It's increasing the impact. Come on, guys. Three, two, one. Break. Five down, three to go. So, guys, 100%. That's what we're looking for. Yeah? You ready? Go. Nice. That's good. I'm with you, guys. I'm feeling your pain right now. I'm with you all the way. 20 seconds of work. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Move. Woo. Stay with us. Two more to go. Let's go. That's it. Nice. Push it. Drive it. Reach. Heels to the bum. Pick them up on the back. Yes. Keep going. That's good. Well. Woo. I'm dripping all over, over the floor here. Getting the floor's a bit wet. Whoop. Let's get this mat down. Let's go, guys. Let's push. Come on. Let's go. We're nearly there. Push it for the last few seconds, guys. Stay strong. Three, two, one. Well. Woo. Well done, guys. Good job. You deserve a break right now. Well done. Okay. And breathe. Deep breaths, guys. Catch your breath and get ready for your new moves. Okay. So, next one. The next one, we're going to touch the floor. Okay. Again, I'm going to give you a few options depending on your level, depending on your mobility. But once you get there, again, remember, once you've got your version of what you're going to do, it's trying to increase the intensity by increasing the speed. Okay, guys? High intensity interval training. Are you good to go? I'm rested. I'm, I'm good to go. You want longer? Sorry, we're starting. Okay, so touch the floor is next. Let me give you a little demo first of all before we hit the clock. So from here, you're gonna skip over, touch the floor, lift the chest all the way up, then touch. So you think about your midline, okay? Think about a dot right there in the floor, in the middle. You're gonna put that foot, your nearest foot, level or on that dot. Then you're gonna skip over, okay? If you can't skip, then you step, yeah? Take your pick. Then it's your opposite hand that reaches to the floor. So skip across, reach to the floor with the opposite hand, yeah? If you can't reach all the way, guys, don't worry. We've got options for you. We're gonna show you as we go. Let's get the clock going. Let's keep the heart rate up. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so option one, just skipping over or stepping over. This is your first option, guys. Doing this as quick as you can. You can add the arm if you want, just reaching out to the side, the same as we did in the warm up. So we'll take that as low impact, level one, two seconds. Easy. So, guys, if you know that's, you can do a harder. Level, I'm going to show you that next. You ready? Here we go. All the way to the floor. So this is the full version. Stepping that foot out. Lifting the chest up in between each rep. That's good. Two seconds. There it is. So again, we can go anywhere in between that full version and that low impact version. You don't have to touch the floor, guys. Go. You can just reach towards the floor. Reach as low as you can manage. Or reach to the side. Take your pick. What you do with your arms. 
Yeah. So anywhere in between. That's good. Nice. As you break. So once you got your version, this is where we pick it up, guys. Now we know what we're doing. You ready? Let's go. Touch. Lift the chest. Nice. Good, guys. Let's go. Stay with it. Lift the chest up. Skip across. Woo. Stay strong, guys. As you break. You ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. Touch down. Chest up. Skip across. Choose your level. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Keep pushing. Yes. Come on. Keep up. Stay strong. That's you said. There it is. There it is. Woo. Where we at? Again, five down, three to go. You ready? Let's go. So the breaks, they go so quick. Especially in comparison to your workout phase. Come on. Stay with it. Come on, guys. This is a big move. You've been doing the full version. So it will be a little slower than some of the other moves. There's your break. Ooh. We've got two more. You ready? Let's go. 20 seconds on the clock. Skip. Reach. Squat down. Come on. Chest up. Chest up. Nice. Come on, guys. We need that. Boom. Woo. One more. Okay, we got this, guys. Let's go. Nice. That's looking good, guys. Heart rate's up. Sweating so much today. There it is. Woo! Good job, guys. Right, so we have one movement left. Then we're going to go down to the floor. So in essence, we've got two movements left. One more cardio, and then we're going to finish off with a little ab work. Keeping the same format of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight rounds. So you know the score by now, guys. So, this last movement, it's gonna be a mountain climb. Now again, if you can't get on the floor, if you can't do mountain climb on the floor, you can just do the high knees standing up, that's fine. As long as we're working, as long as we're doing this, guys. Woo, give me my towel today, I need a towel. Okay, guys, so, mountain climb. I'm gonna show you the options, and then we're gonna go straight into it. So for your mountain climb, we're looking for this. This is your full version. If that's too much, slow it down. And if on the floor is too much for you guys, just do the high knees on the spot, standing up, which is here, either here or here. Take a pick, hasn't got to be on the floor. You're good to go. Yes, I hear you cry. Okay, so this is your last cardio move, and then we're gonna take you down to the ground. 20 seconds. This is the final one, the big one. You ready? Let's go. So, low impact. Now the thing is with this movement, guys, it's not just the cardio effect. You have to brace your abdominals, tuck and tilt, Keep those abs nice and tight. Keep those arms locked out as you're doing this movement. It all adds to the move. There's your break. 
And then obviously the higher impact, you've got to add that speed. You should look like you're running on the spot. You ready? Let's go. There you go. Here's your high impact. Oh, your more intense move. My arms are locked out. I'm pushing my shoulder blades apart. I'm driving the knees up toward the chest. And relax. Okay. Totally dripping here. You ready, guys? Go. Nice. So what I tend to do, I've said this before, is I move my position from here to further forwards throughout. Because I get that fatigue in the shoulders as I'm doing this exercise. So to prevent that fatigue, break. To prevent that fatigue, tend to shift around a little bit. And I find that helps with that fatigue in the shoulders. You ready? Let's go. That's it. Come on. Let's try. Keep pushing. That's it. Push it. Come on. Try. A few more seconds. There it is. Woo. That's it. There we go. Let's go. Let's do it. Low impact, remember? One leg at a time. Come on. Let's ride, guys. Let's keep the heart rate up. Let's keep working. Let's push it. Three seconds. There it is. Woo! I'm feeling this more in my shoulders than anywhere else. Okay. You ready? Let's go. Let's count those reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, oh yeah, shocker, 22, I'm only counting on the one leg though guys, so 44, yeah, let's go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, yeah! Oh. Extra ones, didn't they, guys? Oh, yes. Where are we at? This is your last round, guys. Let's go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 20, 20, 20. Oh, well done. Woo. Good job, guys. We smashed that. Huh. So, let's bring it down to the floor. Oh. Okay. So guys, bring it down to the floor. This is the last movement of the day. Core work. So we're gonna get some abs in here. And we're gonna keep it nice and easy. Two options. Feet down. Reach forwards. Pull the abs in, drive the rib cage down. That's all we're looking for, guys. This is going to make your abs burn, guys. So be ready. Okay, count me down. Let's go. So, again, this is another one where it's good to count your repetitions. Give yourself a physical target to aim for for each round. 
Breathe out. As you curl up, there's your break. Breathe out as you curl up. Draw those abs in as you curl up. You ready? Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. Oh, that's my target. So, guys, if you want to increase the intensity, you can actually lift the legs up to a right angle here with the knees and then aim for your heels. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen again. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling those abs now. Let's start it. Starting to burn. You ready, guys? Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. Woo! So as long as I get fourteen or more, I'm happy. Getting fifteen, that's a bonus. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So guys, I'm using my arm for momentum. I'm tucking the chin in and I'm peeling up, aiming to get my shoulder blades off the ground on these curls. And again, pushing the rib cage down towards the hips. There's your break. Pushing the hip rib cage down towards the hips and drawing those abs in. Okay, guys, this is more upper abdominal. This is. Let's go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, let's see where we're at, guys. We've got two rounds to go. Two rounds to go, guys. We can do this. Final two rounds. Let's go. Keep pushing. Come on. Again, if, you, if you're struggling, put your hands on the legs. You just reach for the top of the knees. That's another option there for you guys. So use those arms, brace those abs, peel up. So you're peeling your spine up off the mat. There's your break. One round left, guys. Final round. Let's smash this. Woo! Ready? Go! One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, well done, guys. Good job. Woo. Just roll over onto your tummy. Lift up through the chest. Give those abs a stretch out. Locking the shoulders down. Nice deep breaths. Ooh. Okay, coming up onto the hands and knees. And just arching the back, up and down. That's it. Stepping those hands forwards, dropping the chest towards the floor, open up the shoulders, relax the forehead onto the floor. Nice deep breaths, get the heart rate to come down. Nice. That's good. Okay, guys, coming up. Come up onto one knee. And we're gonna stretch out the hip here by tucking under 
tilt the pelvis, push the hip forwards. Get that stretch right here. So I hope you feel like you've had a workout, guys. Hope you joined in. Hope you weren't just watching. <laughs> Remember, this is going to be on the virtual village hall that you can watch at any time. You can watch on the YouTube channel as well. And change. So you can do this workout at any time. So there's no excuses, guys. They're making it simple for you. No equipment required. Just water, towel, willpower, and just a little bit of space. And relax. Take a stand, guys. Okay. So standing up. Hold on to something if you need to. Bring your heel to your bum. Push the hip forward. Stretch out the front of the leg there. Dripping wet. And change. Woo. So guys, again, remember, comments, feedback, all welcome. Let me know if you did it along with me or whether you're going to do it later. How you found the workout? Was it too easy, too hard? It's never too hard. You can always get it down. Crossover, reach tall. And lean to the side. That's good. And change. Cross over, reach the up, hold on to the opposite wrist, pull across, reach to. And relax. Well done, guys. Good job. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again next week.